Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to check your startup items in Windows, as in what uh, programs are set to start when you turn on your computer. So you're probably used to using msconfig, that we've been using for years. You can check your services and your startup, but you know newer versions of Windows, even when you go here, it'll want you to go to the Task Manager, and then you can go to the Startup uh, app section there. And you can see here we have four listed, and they're all disabled. And you could run a new task and so on from here. But there's another way to do it using a free tool called What in Startup. So it's just a free download zip file. Then you just unzip it and run the executable so there's nothing to install. So just double click it. And then you'll see you have your list here. We have more than those four that uh, Task Manager showed here. And it gives you um, the name, the type, the command line, whether it's enabled or disabled, product name, file version, description, company, registry, location, path created time, modified time, and all kinds of good stuff there. So if you right click on something, you could disable it or enable it, or actually delete it. And let's say you want to search for the executable, instead of having to, you know, type it in there, just click on this, it'll open up Google, right to that section there, you could research it and decide if you want it to be running or not. Uh, same with the product name, open the startup location in the registry. Then if you want to choose the columns, you know, if you don't need any of these columns here, you could remove them from the list or rearrange them. Check the properties, which just gives you a screenshot of all the information right there. And then you could also check the file properties of the actual file itself. Then if you go to the view menu, you know, show grid lines, if you want to make it easier to read, uh, do a report uh, of the items in here for selected or all, do a search. Put an icon on the tray so it's always running. Then you have advanced options. So if you have like a second uh, installation of Windows and you want to check those startup, you could do it from here. Or if you have a profile you want to pull it from, you could do that as well. Find, and so on. And if you want to make a new startup item, you could do that. If you know this information, then you could also edit the startup item if you want to change how it's configured to run, and so on. So I think it's a cool little tool uh, you know, it gives you some more options than the um, Task Manager version does and actually, you know, showed a couple things that Task Manager didn't even find that was actually running. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.